I titled my pitch for that project, Reverse Prison Break. You know, people in prison. <laughs> <laughs> people in, You're breaking in. Yes. <laughs> right. Because people in prison want to break out. I yeah. wanted to break in. <laughs> <laughs> but the police was then the avenue. So pretend like an offense had been committed, get the police to pick me up, and then send me to jail. By Nigerian laws, in 24 hours, I had to be out of police custody. They kept me for five days. Every single morning, they woke me up to ask me if there was someone to pay bribes to get me out. So I, I, I found out a lot about Nigerian police, even though they were not the original target. Then from there, they took me to court. In court, people were coming to meet me. After the magistrate demanded me in prison, if you can pay, you will sleep in your house tonight, which means in the Nigerian justice system, once you have money, Two things, if you have money and your case is not under media spotlight, you escape justice. So a court sits and they say, send him to jail. But he pays a bribe right in court and he sleeps in his house. And the media report is in jail and people celebrate. But you're never going to find that because you can't write to a court. You can't write to a Nigerian prison and say, give us a list of how many inmates you have. You're not going to get an answer. And then in prison, I then found out that you can go to prison in Nigeria and get your records erased. Just speak to the right people and pay them. You can drink, you can do drugs, you can have sex, you can sleep in air-conditioned rooms, you can live the big man life. If you can pay and if you know the right people. And I thought it doesn't help with democracy if we allow a system to continue to um, let people get away with the law. Do what they like and just get away with it.